If you find yourself in the seaside resort of Trevemund in Lübeck, Germany, be sure to visit one of the last surviving windjammers, one of the flying pea liners, a German four-masted steel bark called the Passat, which means trade wind in German. She is now a museum ship and hotel. Passat was launched in 1911 at the Blom and Voss shipyard, Hamburg. She began her maiden voyage on Christmas Eve 1911 toward Cape Horn in the nitrate ports of Chile. She was used for decades to ship general cargo outbound and nitrate home. Passat was interned at Iquique for the duration of World War I and sailed in 1921 to Marseille and was turned over to France as war reparation. The French government put her up for sale and the Lice Company was able to buy back the ship for 13,000 pounds. Again, she was used as a nitrate carrier until 1932 when Passat was sold to the Gustav Eriksson line of Finland. The ship was then used in the grain trade from Spencer Gulf in South Australia to Europe. At the onset of World War II, Passat was at her home port Miriahamen in the Åland Islands of Finland. She was towed in 1944 to Stockholm to serve as a storage ship. In 1948, the Ericsson line re-entered the grain trade, and together with Pamir she participated in the last great grain race in 1949 from Port Victoria around Cape Horn to Europe. Among her crew was Niels Janash, who later became the director of Canada's Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. All told, Passat rounded Cape Horn 39 times. She won the famous grain race four times, after having brought the wheat from Australia to Europe the fastest. These two vessels carried the last commercial grain cargoes from Australia to Falmouth, and though Passat won the contest, the other vessel, Pamir, gained the honor of being the last commercial sailing vessel to round Cape Horn. At the close of the Second World War, only two viable commercial sail carriers still existed, F. Lice Flying P Line of Germany and the Ericsson Line of Finland. By 1949, the last two flying P vessels were both in the hands of Ericsson and Lice had made the transition to steam. The 1949 voyages were not profitable, and no profitable cargoes could be found, so both ships were chartered out as stationary granaries, and then sold for scrap in 1951. That should have been the end of the story, but both vessels were purchased by a German shipowner, Heinz Schliwen, who had a dream of creating a sail training fleet whose cost would be paid by the cargo they would carry. He proposed to raise profit margins by carrying the grain mostly in bulk, which would lower the cost of loading and unloading and allow more grain to be carried. A layer of sacked grain on top of the loose cargo and a series of watertight bulkheads and shifting boards would keep the cargo from moving under sail. Pamir and Passat were heavily modified, adding engines, extra lifeboats, ballast tanks, and the new cargo arrangement. The venture failed, partly from the cost of modification to the first two vessels, and because Schliwen overextended himself in an attempt to build a fleet while Cape Horners could still be had. He purchased Mashalu and was in negotiations for the last Ericsson ship, Pomern, when he ran out of money. His first two voyages from Buenos Aires to Europe failed to pay his costs. The romantic dream would not die, though. A non-profit foundation was set up by a group of German shipowners in the German state of Schleswig-Holstein and Pamir and Passat were reprieved once again. On August 10th of 1957, Pamir sailed from South America for Hamburg, carrying barley. Passat followed two weeks later. Forty days out from Buenos Aires, Pamir encountered a hurricane and was lost. Of 86 people aboard, six survived. The eyewitness accounts were few, and the tangled, tragic tale difficult to unravel, but it seems clear that the cargo shifted in the hurricane. Daniel S. Parrott, in his excellent book Tall Ships Down, pieces together the probable sequence of events. Particularly compelling is his inclusion of crucial information about Passat's voyage soon after. She, too, ran into heavy weather and her cargo also shifted. The experienced Cape Horn captain in command had heard of the loss of Pamir. He flooded the ballast tank on the other side and managed to keep his vessel from capsizing. Passat was towed to Lisbon and after restowing the grain, sailed on to Hamburg. After that, 
Passat never sailed again. Passat was purchased in 1959 by the Baltic Sea Municipality of Lübeck and is now a youth hostel, venue, museum ship, and landmark moored at Trevmund, a borough of Lübeck in the German federal state of Schleswig-Holstein.